Welcome back, I'm Melissa. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is going to be some random plant repots and stuff that I have to do. I have a pole extension in my cabinet that needs done like ASAP and I need to take it out. Um, I was putting it off when I did all those extensions last time and I should have just extended it. But I knew like if once I did, I'd have to take it out of my cabinet. We'll see kind of what all I end up taking care of. I also am out of all of my soil mixes. This is my like normal DIY mix with Fox Farm. My moss pole mix is completely empty <laughs> and my other DIY is completely empty. So I figured I would make some soil on here with you too. And then we will be all set to do our repottings and everything else that we need to do. I still have like a good fourth, a bag at least of Fox Farm. So I'm still gonna make it. Uh, and then plants that I don't really care too much which substrate they're in, I'll just continue using this until the bag is empty. And then after that, I'll be switching to just Coco Core and all the other amendments that I add in. So we're gonna do our soil first, get that ready to go. And then I think we'll start with our extension and then do some various repottings. Here in my garage, it's a hot mess out here. I have to like organize this stuff. So I got a few new things recently that I was out of. The orchid bark, um, I could only get the small bags because they were out of what I normally get. So I'm gonna rummage through here and find what I need. I like mixing my soils outside because of the dust and stuff. I'm just kind of opening them all up and laying them here. That way I can just go down the line with each component and add them in each one. And I got more soil scoops. One of you or a couple of you mentioned that or noticed that. I bought a set of six off Amazon. So this is like the one that I use all the time, my OG one. And so I bought more. So now that I have scoops for every single bin. <laughs> I'm trying to decide where I should go to pot these up. I kind of just want to pot them on this table here because I was packing some orders on it and I haven't like um, cleaned this area yet. I cleaned all the stuff off, but I need to like wipe it down and vacuum. So I figured I might as well just continue to make a mess over here. The first uh, task that I want to do is extend my Majestic. So I had no idea it had pushed out this huge new leaf in my cabinet and it was like squished in there because it's a little a little wonky 
But look how big that leaf is. It's not overly bad, but I definitely need to extend. The note is right here. Uh, but that is crazy. So the latest leaf was on the same vine was here, this one. And then this humongous one just came out. It's like a huge leaf jump. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. Hi, hello. <laughs> I wasn't recording any of that. <sighs> I made my grow pole off. I didn't even think to look to see if I was recording. That's how like discombobulated I am today. I was up till like 3.30 last night packing orders and I got up at six, so. Yeah, I'm only on a few hours of sleep, so I'm definitely feeling it. I probably should go take a nap, honestly, that I might feel better, but it's all good. It's, it's good. <laughs> and then today was a holiday, and so uh, the post office was closed anyway. So I went there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I stayed up last night and did all this work <laughs> when I could have like taken my time and done it today. Next time I'll know to make sure to check that there's not a holiday coming up before I package and try to ship plants out. So yeah, it's something I'll definitely uh, look for, for sure. <laughs> so I made my extension. I have one of the mediums left. This is just the 2.0. I definitely need to place an order for more. If I don't forget, I completely forgot to do that because I'll have more extensions to do soon. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna slide this right down here. Might need to add more moss. Yeah, I think I do need to add a little bit in here. I cannot believe how quickly she is sizing up. That is just craziness. She's gonna outgrow my Sorderoy. I feel like, I don't know which one grows faster. I'm actually curious about that, but I feel like, um, I honestly feel like this one is growing at a faster pace. And this one is two vines, so I actually have another new growth right here that's gonna push out soon. I forgot this is a 3.0 pull, so I'm extending a two onto a three. And so the only thing we really need to do, so this caterpillar is still pretty green. I don't like to remove them when they're so green just because they get all mushy and sticky unless they come right off. I like to leave them a little bit. So I'm just gonna anchor that node right here with a little clip that I brought out. There's kind of like a weird spot because there's this much empty on the three. So there's not really a place to anchor this at, which kind of sucks. That node isn't really gonna grow, in and grow into anything. I would say it doesn't look, I don't really like the two going into the three because there's just not enough room. Right here, there's like nowhere for this node to root into. So I would say, uh, try and stay consistent with the poles that you're doing uh, to use the same one. Unless, let me open this flap. Oh, never mind. I can open it and put this on the inside like that. There we go. That'll work. All right, now the note will be on the inside. But yeah, look at her. <laughs> Look at that big leaf. That is craziness. So that was done, that was easy. So I'm gonna sit her in front of my pole area. I'll fix the leaves another day and like get them kind of situated. But yeah, look how pretty this leaf is. That is crazy. And like the light, it gives a gorgeous glow, like the veining. It definitely resembles the varicosum to me in a way, this one. Sorderoy is definitely a lot bigger, but I feel like the Majestic is definitely gonna get there. And then the Varicosum is right here. I definitely see more Varicosum in the Majestic. But I can see the Sorderoy too with like the pattern and stuff. 
I don't know, it's a beautiful plant, a beautiful phyllo. Yeah, this leaf here is gonna bug me. I'll probably pin that um, a different day though. I'll let it kind of situate in its spot here and kind of adjust. Oh my gosh, it's so bright and sunny today. <laughs> Let me figure out what other task I wanna do and then I'll be back on shortly. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> uh, had a little bit of a break. Uh, turns out none of my batteries were charged. My battery was getting low and so I go to grab another one out of my like charged pouch. I keep all my batteries in like a little to-go pouch and I put one in, it's not charged. I'm like, oh, that's weird. So maybe I just forgot to charge one. I put another one in, it's not charged. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and I put one more in and I'm like, I go to check my charger and it was unplugged. So I thought they had all charged and I must have put them away, not thinking that it was not plugged in. <laughs> so I had to wait like an hour before I could start filming again. And then I got to doing some other stuff. I ended up washing the cats. They really needed a bath and I <laughs> was a hot mess. So then I had to change my shirt and then, yeah, it got hot today. And so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I got like scratched up because of the Luna scratch to me. She doesn't like a bath at all. Uh, so yeah, they're all kind of mad at me, but <laughs> they really needed a bath. So I was trying to think what else I want to do right now. And honestly, I just, I feel like I have so many props that I want them to get out of here. <laughs> I have so many plants that I just want to get rid of. And I feel like until that happens, I don't think I'm gonna feel uh, good. <laughs> I mean, it just feels very overwhelming and I'm ready to I don't know, I'm ready to cut plants back to propagate and to like sell and get rid of, but I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to start selling because the site's not ready. I find that I'm in this weird position because of that. It's like, I wanna start chopping and propagating to have plants ready, but then I don't have room right now to do that. So I feel like I need to clear some space out before I do do that, if that makes sense. So I'm at this place where I don't know what to do with my plants right now. I was trying to think of videos to film this month and I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm having like a little bit of a brain fart or freeze. I don't know. I'm in this like st stump. I have so much, I feel like I have so much to do, but I can't think of anything to do. Does that make sense? I have my fluval stratum here. I normally dump this in a little bin, but I used all that. So I'm just using it out of the bag right now. And I have this ooh, container here. Cause this is like a perfect example. So this is my Amedrium medium silver propagation. This was a runner that I took off of my plant and I don't really need this runner. Uh, my plant is growing on a small thickly or a medium thickly pole. I don't know. I don't plan on adding this in there. I had thought about that initially, but then I'm like, well, why don't I just, this could be one that I sell. So I was thinking about uh, propagating it again. It's already rooted in the stratum and this is dry. I need to water it, but you see what it was doing. It's giving me a runner, just a blank runner. So I do want to think chop this to propagate. Uh, I have three, initially had three pieces, like three nodes. And then this one here started growing and now it has like this runner. So I think I want to chop this in a few places and just plant them separately. That way they'll be like in their own little separate container and they'll be ready. <laughs> uh, let me uh, bend you down here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more. And then we'll propagate this and separate this out. I feel like if I do little projects like this a little bit at a time, I'm gonna create like four more plants. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know, maybe I'll just go get a temporary shelf and house it somewhere. That way I do have the other shelf in the bedroom, but it's already full. So I just, I really just need to get the shelf open so I can get some of these plants out of here. I think that's what I'm realizing. <laughs> what I think I will do actually is just leave this main one in here 
and I will separate this eventually. But uh, instead of like trying to pluck this one vine out, I'm going to cut it right above this node because you can actually see the growth point right there where my finger is. So a new leaf will grow right there if I cut above. So that's what I'm going to do. Boop. And so that'll regrow and that'll give me time to uh, kind of prop this other piece. I do need to water this. I love that sound when the stratum is dry and you water it. So that little piece is good. With this, what I'll do is I have tons of little nodes, like uh, right here is a node, here is a node, 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 node. There's actually two nodes, one here and one here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cut right in between these two. Oh, I had some fuzzy stuff on my shears right here. And then I'll just prop this piece as is. And then me cutting this will probably activate a couple growth points. So I should get a couple little growth points from that, but I think it's kind of cute just having a leaf like that. And then with this one, we are going to cut this runner right here like that. So we're leaving this node, um, which has shot this out, so it'll, it could regrow from below right here and right here. It should produce new growth, but we'll plant this one down in here. So there's like two little cuttings we can get rid of. Well, there's two and there's like three more here. And what I'll probably do with the runner we have so much extra space, like this is all dead space. I'm gonna cut half of this away. That is dead. So I got one node. That's a dead piece. Two node. These little uh, sheaths, you can remove those because then the growth point is actually right under there. It's really hard to see when they're that tiny, but you'll see just a tiny, tiny little growth point right there. What I'll probably do is just stick these down in one of the cups like that. That way they can root and we'll see what happens with the nodes. It'll probably do something like this and reshoot growth in some time. I think what I'll do is since this I have to separate eventually, um, I think I'll just go ahead and plant these together right now and then I'll separate them at a later time. That way uh, I can save space right now. <laughs> then I would really love to have these separate. That way they can just be ready. Maybe I'll just separate them. Should I separate them? and be less to do in the future. camera and I wasn't watching what I was doing. That's so funny. Oh no, no, that one has holes in the bottom. Gosh darn it. So 
See, there I go again, making a mess like usual. And these, oh, where'd they go? We're just gonna stick down in here. Just like so. Ooh. All right, so those little three guys are done. So let's grab something else to do. So I actually figured out what I wanna do. Um, I wanna do two repottings. <laughs> I uh, was looking around and I'm like, I don't really feel like messing with my corms. I don't feel like creating a ton of extra plants right now. I feel like that's gonna stress me. So I have a two plants that are like root bound-ish compacted and I haven't repotted them yet. And I keep underwatering them and they get very droopy. <laughs> so I feel like just like slightly upsizing them will be like beneficial. This one is a peace lily. Uh, I got it at Lowe's and I'm not going to be able to keep it in this cute pot anymore. It's a platinum, I think, I believe. It's a pretty cool peace lily. I don't have peace lilies, but this one has a cool tone and texture to it. Um, and I saw it at the big box store. I thought it was so pretty. I felt like I had to have it. <laughs> Uh, so the only thing that I'm going to do is, yeah, gently kind of remove some of this old soil and then we'll get her potted up into a little bit of a bigger pot. This one's yellowing, so I snipped that away. I recently watered these so the soil's pretty damp um, so that it could get like a good drink. Let me bend you down a little bit. Yeah, whenever they start to coil like that at the bottom, it's usually when I like to kind of repot them. I'm not going to stress it by like removing a ton or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of gently remove some of that top layer. Okay. So I'm going to use a five inch. Uh, I don't want to go up too much bigger than the root ball, but just to give this plant a little bit more room. And I'm using my Fox Farm mix that I had made earlier. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little awesome coat. That looks so much better. Look at that. I do have some GT foliage focus in here that I mixed in earlier. I'm just gonna do a little water because the plant was still pretty wet in the middle, but I just wanna like moisten just the new with the old, just a tiny bit. Isn't that color pretty? I think that is so pretty. I don't know, I guess that's a, probably, I don't know if that's a silly question. I guess all peace lilies bloom, right? Not just the regular ones that we see. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look that up. Or uh, I don't know what the platinum looks like if it blooms. It's pushing a new leaf here in the middle and then it has some new growth coming in down here as well. I feel like I don't really have that much experience with peace lilies. So if you have peace lilies, uh, do they just, I guess they bloom when they're happy. Is it something like a Maranta <laughs> when it uh, is happy it blooms? She's so pretty now. She's definitely not going to dry out as quickly and then she'll be able to live in here for a good little while. I just either have to find a pot. I actually need to get some more pots that fit these five inch nursery pots. 
Um, I like the white, that's why I can leave them on my shelf and it doesn't, and I like that they're white and I don't need a pot. I just sit it on a saucer tray, but uh, sometimes I like nice pots just to sit them in. This is the other one. This is the zebra plant, but this is the snow white. Look at that color. I used to have a zebra plant and I got rid of it, but it had the beautiful, really vibrant yellow flowers and mine bloomed for me. It was so pretty, but I like the snow white version cause it's like more white, I guess. It's very pretty. Uh, same situation. I haven't repotted it yet and uh, it gets a little droopy on me. So I feel like it would appreciate a slight upsize. And I actually have one more plant that I need to pot up. It's a propagation. Uh, so I'll do that next and then we'll end it. <laughs> uh, I keep letting it get way too dry and I've been meaning to pot it up for a while. It's another one that's been out there and I meant to do it and I just keep forgetting. I don't know how rooted this one is. Oh yeah. You see, it definitely was wanting a little upsize. I'm not gonna worry about taking off all the old soil. I watered in nematodes after I bought these. So this is like store-bought soil, so it's fine. And these plants like water, so it's it doesn't have to be like super aerated or anything like that. It just has more roots than soil, so it's just getting a little thirsty. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do, just a little loosen. And then we have our five inch pot. Oh, it's so stinking cute. Look at how cute that is. That is adorable. I mean, come on with the white pot. It's so pretty. It is a gorgeous plant. I'm going to have to take a photo of this. I'm going to put this one back out there and let me grab the propagations that I want to pot up because it is a long overdue. So the propagations that I need to pot up my philodendron in Brazil. Uh, this is the same one that I had for a very long time. It was uh, climbing on my wall at one point in here. Oh my gosh, look how rooted that is. <laughs> There's so many stratum roots in here. Can you see that? I had used all of my stratum. All of my used stratum is empty now, so I'm gonna dump it into here. I probably won't have a lot of used stratum from this because there's so many roots in here. <laughs> Look at how coiled it was. This was, I did this a long time ago in a video when I propped this. See, stratum over time, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, it gets like, it breaks down. It's like a fine dirt almost compared to when they're like round little balls so that 
um, mushiness kind of just breaks down and turns into a sludge. So you really can't grow in it long term, I would say. I feel like it's just going to compact over time, which will um, kind of starve your roots of oxygen in a way. That's good. I'm not going to rinse these or anything. It's just dark because of all the stratum, but I got a good chunk of it off. I don't really have that much stratum left. So that is our root ball that we're working with. But I'll save this and add it to some fresh stratum. I just let it dry out though. I'll just leave this open with the lid off my little shovel <laughs> and let that dry all the way and then I'll close it. I honestly should probably use a bigger pot, but I'll start small and then I'll upsize at a later date. I'm just going to throw that down in there. Uh, shake it to settle it into the uh, root ball where the stratum was tightly like around it and kind of getting all the little crevices. Glad I'm taking care of this. This was a long overdue. All right, she's all done. I'm gonna put her back on my plant shelf out there. So we made fresh soil, so I'm prepared for a little while. We got our um, majestic, where's she at? Down that way extended took care of a prop and we took care of some repots and stuff. So it was productive. I'm glad I got these done. I almost sometimes forget about my plants out there in a way uh, that are in my plant room because I'm so focused on plants in my plant room that sometimes like stuff that's overdue, uh, it leaves my mind for some reason. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys again very soon.